You guys want to know what's super funny about this Kool-Aid? Is that this baby jug full of Kool-Aid was $20, but the refills are $1. Oh, guys. So we actually ended up ordering a few things. We got some hot Cheeto pot stickers that look incredible. And then right here, we got the triple Decker Krispy Kreme burger. This is the most American shit you could possibly do in your life. Come to a county fair, get a margarita, and watch some pig racing. What's up everybody, welcome back to another beautiful day here in Southern California. Now today I'm actually talking to you guys from Pomona, California, a city located inside of LA County. And today we're at the LA County Fair. Now, I'm actually gonna be enjoying my beautiful day here with my family, but I decided why not tune on in and show you guys what a fair looks like here in the United States. Now, I've been to state fairs all around the United States. However, the LA County Fair is always a good time. There's always so much food, so many different rides, and also plenty of different concerts. Last weekend, we actually came out here. We saw Billy Currington, Chris Jansen. Amazing country music. However, today we're actually not attending any concerts. We're just here to ride rides, eat food, do a little bit of souvenir shopping. Like, there's places where you can get fair gear, uh, photo booths, all kinds of fun stuff going on. And of course, plenty of places to buy beers and drinks. So join me as I show you guys around the LA County Fair. This is a fair that I grew up coming to. It tends to take place every summer and it makes for an awesome activity to do with your friends and family. I hope you guys are as excited as I am right now. My family is actually right here waiting to take a picture right here with the Los Angeles County Fair sign. Then we'll jump on inside and start exploring. So this video I won't be filming alone. I am with Gladys and Gladys, this is your very first state fair or county fair in the United States, right? Yes, the first one. I've never been in one before. And what are you looking forward to the most about the fair? Ooh, the rides. Oh my God, look at that one. Yeah, They're that does look crazy. Down. I want to go into the rides, but I think of course the fairs are famous because of the food, isn't them? Yeah, the fair food. Definitely the place to come in the United States to find the most absurd food. So we're gonna get our hands on plenty of junk food. We're gonna ride plenty of rides. Oh but God. before we actually jump on in, um, I think I should talk to you guys a little bit about the prices first because we actually got a really good deal to enter the fair today. We actually purchased our tickets through AAA and they were $15 a person. But outside, I actually noticed that today they are $30 a person. And it really just depends on what weekend or what day you come to the fair that the price is actually changed. And now, that's just only the entrance. Ticket. Exactly. Okay, because here inside you gotta buy everything um, you want to, for example, the food or the rides. Every ride has a price. A separate price, yes. Okay, or you can buy the Griezmann for 50 bucks and you can oh, yeah. ride all the rides you want. Yeah, super cool. So they do have an unlimited ride wristband, but it says that it actually ends at 7 p.m. But, um, okay. yeah. Let's actually walk around and see what we want to do. Should we buy a wristband or should we just purchase tickets? There's actually a sign up here that says four tickets for $5, 16 for 20, 40 for 50, or a fast, and you can actually add a fast pass for 25. So you can spend a hefty penny coming to the fair, but we're not on no budget today. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna ride rides. We're gonna oh eat food. Oh my God, did you say no budget? No budget. That, that, I I want to hear that. Yes. She wants to hear that all the time. <laughs> all right, well, let's enjoy the fair. No budget. No budget fair. <laughs> We just got done making a great decision. I think we're actually gonna go with the 40 tickets for $50 because there's actually plenty of rides that look like they're more for the smaller kids. So we'll go on the crazy ones and then we'll spend a lot more money playing all of the different fair games because Gladys is a huge fan of the shooting games. Yeah. And which other ones? Um, any of those fair games, you know? The shooting yeah. ones and you like the darts with the balloons. Yeah, the darts, all of that I like. Imagine if I can win a teddy bear today. That'd be super cool, but how are you gonna get the teddy bear back to Venezuela? 
I'll leave I'll leave that here with you or if it, it's a small I will send them to one member on your channel let's see okay all right sounds good now everything is actually self-service there's no nobody to help you so you just touch here to buy your tickets and yeah fifty dollars for the wristband but it ends at seven pretty cool so you actually don't get a whole bunch of tickets you get a card like this that says 40 tickets and i guess they just keep swiping the qr code and yeah we'll see exactly how many rides we can get on for 40 tickets 50 us dollars so we decided that we're actually going to go on this ride first now we actually just got done looking it looks pretty crazy a ride called the endeavor space wars and it's actually six tickets per person so around five us dollars for the ride but it looks exciting guys i mean it looks super cool you actually sit kind of like yes yeah, i don't know like a saddle on the ride but look at that one that looks wild can't say i do that yo this is gonna be this is gonna be sick you excited i'm so excited That was fun. I'm not not gonna lie to you guys. I was scared. I was, my hands were sweating. I was shaking. I didn't realize we went upside down. Yeah, I told you. Ooh. Definitely a great way to kick off, right? I wasn't uh, scary, but I think that was the greatest way to start this day. Exactly. It was the greatest way, but I'm not gonna lie, I got that nervous hunger now. Now I want like some deep fried Oreos or something because Everybody I'm just making excuses. Deep fried Oreos before going there? I'm not going on that. I am. Are you? Yes. All right, well me, <laughs> me being the strong man and great boyfriend, I'll go on with you. Oh my God, I don't believe you. I will, I will, I promise. I'm gonna make uh, that happen. Watch to believe. But you, <laughs> she's so funny. I have to see it to believe it. <laughs> hey, but did you did you enjoy it? Amazing, that was amazing. I was like this. And you know what the best part about the fair is? Is there's no long waits like at Disneyland or Knott's Berry Farm. Literally five minutes. Yeah. Super fun. Oh my God, there's pig racing. Oh, okay. We have to go later on. Let's go try and find some piglets. Okay. Right now, I'm actually standing right outside of this barbecue spot. Oh, did you just pick up a turkey leg? Let me see that bad boy. My brother couldn't couldn't handle the weight, so he got himself a turkey leg. Man, I'm not even a cap. That looks a little bit smaller than the turkey legs I'm used to, right? Yeah, no, they are. Really oh, they're being stingy they at the not. fair. And not you get a huge one. That might be Whoa. better. So you know that. Enjoy the enjoy the turkey leg, bro. Now, real quickly, let me show you guys a little bit of the prices. They actually got turkey legs for twenty-one dollars. Steak kebabs for 24, chicken kebab for 20, pulled pork sandwiches are 16, and then they got loaded baked potatoes that look amazing as well, and they're all around 12 to 16 dollars. So yeah, definitely at the county fair, you can expect to spend a nice chunk of change, but it is totally worth it. I mean, the experience itself is beautiful. Now, right now we're actually about to line up to ride the Titan. Oh wow, look at this Pikachu that this guy just won. That looks pretty cool, huh? <laughs> Let's see, maybe we'll win ourselves something that big, but I don't know what the hell we'll do with a Pikachu that size. But yeah, right now I'm hiding out in the shade because it is extremely hot outside. Um, and yeah, let's go line up for the Titan. I didn't make it through the line. Hi, I chickened out, guys. That looks really, really rough for me. And the worst part about it is that you actually have to sit at the top while the people down at the bottom get on. So, you know what? Gladys jumped on. Call me what you want. Call me what you want. I'm not getting on that. Gladys is definitely a lot more of an adrenaline freak than I am. Now, every time I don't get on um, anything that has to do with heights, you guys always tell me, yo, Chris, but you used to jump out of airplanes when you were in the army. Uh, what's wrong with you? Well. That was completely different. I was also a mechanic for many years, and I'm very much blaming my, my fear of going on this ride on the potential mechanical issues that this ride could have. 
That was lame, huh? That was a lame ass excuse, but I'm scared. I'm not going on it. There goes Gladys right there. So glad it survived that, but do you blame me for not going on? Um, no, I think if, if you're too scared, it's better to not go on because <laughs> you know what? Sometimes you feel in the mood to ride this kind of stuff, but sometimes you don't. I remember the last time I went to Six Flags, Six Flags, it wasn't yeah, yeah, yeah. right? We I went was to Six Flags. Dying. Actually, I was so scared. You know what? You were com I'm cutting you off right now because she's been calling me names. She's like, Oh, you're scared. You're so scared. You don't want to go on. But when we were in Six Flags, you were the scary one. No, no, no. You didn't no. want to go listen on anything. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Let let me clear this point. <laughs> that day, yes, I was scared, but I ra I ride so many attractions. But the um, elevator, that one, I always pass because the Fair elevator, enough. I just can't do it. The elevator are the rides no. that you know you sit down and you go up and it just drops. I actually went on that and she didn't. So you know what? We're even now. We're even. Okay. And to be fair, um, I sat down and I ate some turkey leg with Andrew. So oh it was my worth God, it. I'm hungry. All right, let's get a little snack then. Why not? Okay. And men, thank you guys to all of you who recognized me and come up and said hi. I just met a lovely lady. Her name's Julian. Shout out to you, Julian. Thank you for watching my videos. It means the world to me. And it always makes our day when we meet you guys in person. Like it. It makes this whole job truly special and worth it and it's nice when people acknowledge your hard work. So, yeah. thank you so much. All right, let's grab a snack. What are you feeling? Some deep fried Oreos, you want a lemonade, you want a beer? No, Gladys don't drink beer. Something salty. Pizza? A churro? Something salty. A hot dog? A hot dog, yeah. A hot a dog stick. can work on. <laughs> oh, they do have hot dog on a stick. Yeah. You know what? Let's go check that out. Okay. Why not? These are the kind of things you can find at the fair. Look, chocolate covered Twinkies, frozen bananas, apple pie, caramel apple, chocolate pretzels, peanut caramel apple, chocolate s'mores, cheesecake caramel apple, a fruity pebble caramel apple. Man, anything your heart desires you can find at the fair. Gladys, come here. Tell me what you think about this cheesecake caramel apple. Oh my God, this looks awesome. Yeah. What? Cheesecake? On an apple? That took you a minute to fully understand, huh? Cheesecake on an apple? Really? That looks awesome. Look, tamarindo on apple oh too. Oh my God, tamarindo on bacon and chocolate? No. Oh, I didn't see that. I passed that one, but I think I'm down for the cheesecake. The cheesecake apple? But first the hot dog. First the hot dog. salty, yeah. I agree, I agree. Oh, this is so fun. It's fun being here with Gladys. It's fun being with somebody that's not from the US because she's losing her mind. What did you just find? Una hamburguesa con donas de crispy This is an English cream. channel, Gladys. Oh, sorry. <laughs> A crispy cream burger like <laughs> the meat and the bread is not bread. There are donuts from Krispy Kreme. <laughs> the most American donut. thing. <laughs> no way. And look, I have something here for you. What? Your favorite food in the world. Bacon With wrap bacon. pickles? <laughs> I absolutely hate pickles. I hate pickles. They are the worst, <laughs> the worst thing known to man. If you guys hate pickles, let me know down in the comment section. You like pickles, huh? I'm okay with them. They're gross. They're disgusting. The only way to actually eat a pickle is to open the jar and throw it right in the trash. Oh They're my disgusting. God, don't be like that. That's food, please. I, I want a never... cream burger. <laughs> I think we should definitely eat that, but I'm still never gonna ever accept the fact that pickles are edible. Not even with a bacon on the top? Debatable. Debatable. Okay, Maybe we okay. might have to try that, but look, they got. Krispy Kreme burgers, man. They got fried Oreos, fried Twinkies, chicken strips, frog legs, which we're not gonna eat frog legs. Come on, we're going back to Asia soon. I can eat that in Cambodia. We can eat barbecue lemongrass frog in Cambodia. Yeah. And that's bomb. Stop it, frog. <laughs> For one dollar, not 20. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about.
so we actually ended up ordering a few things. We got some. Oh, guys. So we actually ended up ordering a few things. We got some hot Cheeto pot stickers that look incredible. And then right here, we got the triple decker Krispy Kreme burger. I don't know what we're gonna be doing with all this. And Gladys, just hold that out in front. We also got a large baby bottle of Kool-Aid. Yeah, this is gonna be a heart attack, but I'm ready for it. All right, so here comes Gladys with the Krispy Kreme triple decker burger. Oh my God, wish me luck. Ah. <laughs> Dang, that was a huge bite. <laughs> oh man. How is that though? I don't know how to explain this. It's like meat and, you know, meat with sweet donut. It's very weird. You have to try it, Chris. Wait, I need Kool Aid first. Okay. You guys want to know what's super funny is that. Oh, are you going to feed it to me? Or are you going to feed me the Krispy Kreme burger? Yeah, go, right. go, go, go. Chris, 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 Chris. What do you think? That just ruined the Krispy Kreme nut. Everything I ever felt about Krispy Kreme. <laughs> it's a good donut and they ruined it with the meat. This it doesn't is, taste good. This is a great burger to eat it like this. Exactly. That's how I feel. You know what? Let me try that donut like that. That's how you eat that burger. You eat the meat. You eat the donut after. I can't even can't even pretend that that was good. I, it doesn't go well, right? Donut, meat, cheese. Crazy combination. Crazy combination does Crazy not go meat. well. Mm. I need a little bit of my Kool-Aid. No. Okay. Let me get that. You guys want to know what's super funny about this Kool-Aid? Is that this baby jug full of Kool-Aid was $20, but the refills are $1. Of so. course, because that's water trying. Is it? Man, I'm a little bit disappointed in the fair food so far. This is this is just water. You can barely <laughs> taste the Kool-Aid. Yeah. But could be the most affordable drink in the park if you actually refill it a few times. It's because a great experience. It's a great experience. You know what? That's exactly what all this food is. It's for, for the experience. Now, let's check up on the bro. How's the peanut butter? It's pretty good. You want to try it? Is that good? Yeah, it's good. You know what? Let me try that because I find it hard to believe after that burger. Here, Gladys, can you help me for one second? I'm gonna try the deep fried peanut butter sandwich, but to be honest, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich always hits the spot, always. Now, I know a lot of you guys have never been to the US and are not familiar with American culture, but we love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. We really do. And if you're American and don't like peanut butter and jelly sandwich, let me know down in the comments because shame on you. You know what? I don't even know how to do this, bro. How'd you do this without a knife, Andrew? Oh, let me try. All right. My man, didn't he, he didn't just order the cheapest item on the menu, but probably the best. This is delicious and the combo was $7 for the fried PB&J and the drink. Can't complain. All right, bro, I'll give you that back. And then Gladys, let's show the people what some hot Cheeto pot stickers are like. Now, you know what? I never usually lick my fingers, but there's no other way. We're extremely sticky right now. Gladys, come in here. I'll, let, I'll give you the honors again. You're again? the guest. You're the guest in the country. Okay, but I didn't want to try this. You didn't want to try it? You don't want a hot let's Cheeto see. pot sticker? Okay, let's see. We're in the LA County first, so we have to try 35? everything we can. 35? This is like a dumpling. It's gyoza. She thought, you were confused. You thought it was a fried hot Cheeto. <laughs> no, it's a gyoza with hot Cheetos on it. Oh, I get it. <laughs> oh my god. I made the Cheeto like a sauce. Yeah. Okay, are you trying this one? Of course. 
Okay, this one is oh, better man. than the burger. Now we're talking. Now Yo, we're talking. This is bomb. Andrew, come in here too. My brother is not a big YouTube star, but we're, we're forcing him to be in the video today. Because this is bomb. He has to try this. Yo, that is that is bomb. You want more? Yeah. That is different, huh? Damn, that's good. Okay. Fried PB and J was bomb, but this, this is where it's at. Yo, so you definitely have to smoke a joint before you eat this uh, Krispy Kreme with the triple burger because my, my brother, my brother's killing that. He says it's good, but it, it definitely is not. I don't know. You like it? I thought the meat was pretty dry. The meat's dry, but maybe like a, a better burger. It would the hit. donut would go good with it. You need a better patty because this tastes like a school patty. You know what? Spark one up and let's come back. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. But hey, seriously, I've been trying to convince my brother to start a channel. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys want to see Andrew start a channel because he's mad funny. He's a little camera shy right now, but so was I when I started. But it could be something that could be up for consideration depending on the comments, right? <laughs> I'm totally joking. He's probably not gonna do it, but hey, man, Krispy Kreme triple decker burger. Andrew approves. I disapprove. You? I disapprove. You disapprove? Oh, no. Completely. You know what? I'm grabbing my Kool-Aid and let's hit the fair. Now it's time to walk that Krispy Kreme triple burger off a little bit. So we're just gonna walk around before heading off over to the games. But Gladys is having a ball right now because she can't believe that you can buy jacuzzis, grills. All of this stuff at the fair. Amazing, and you also have the fortune teller right here. Oh wow, they do have a fortune teller right here. Are you gonna get your fortune read? Life coaching sessions. Oh, and they have a Buddha inside. I wonder if Buddha actually believes in the fortune telling. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I'm a bit skeptical when it comes to the fortune telling. I can't say I would do it, but Gladys is cool the crazy one. Here. She likes to experiment. I am staying away from the fortune telling. Are you gonna handle it? No, I want to handle that. You want to go on this? Yeah, to cross to the other side and go see the pigs and the farm. Yeah, you know? I think that's a good idea. We should do that. That'd be a nice way to admire the view of the fair as well. <laughs> but first, let's continue walking a little bit because I'm stuffed. We found my favorite section of the fair. Now, I love the food, but we got the farm. Now, usually they have like uh, petting farms and areas where we can see different animals. I'm curious to see what we're gonna oh, find inside. What are you hoping to see inside of the fair Piggies. or the farm? Piggies, really? No sheep? I like sheep. I All right. Like well, hopefully we can see both. So the farm area seems like it's very popular. Look, they got a Mexican um, area as well where they got Mexican music and food. Of course, they got a lot of food inside of here as well. I mean, look, you got chili aguas some ice creams oh yeah i can definitely smell like um well it smells like a farm i don't know exactly how to describe it but you know it smells like a mixture of like manure and yeah that's what it smells like like manure but inside we go to the petting zoo okay the big red barn we're coming in i'm excited about this guys let's see what we can find on inside of the the big farm Oh, what's over here? Sheep, goats, awesome. Oh, look at the baby sheep. Wow, the baby ones are super cute. Over there we got some goats. And look how they decorate everything as well. Wagon repair, trading post, dress shop. Oh, they're so cute. And what's over here in this direction? Oh, cows. That's super cool. I love walking through the farm area of the fair because it brings back so many memories from when I was a kid. When I was a kid, this was my favorite section, especially when they have like the petting zoo area, which I actually think is over in that direction because I'm seeing some kids inside, but super cool. <laughs> What's the matter? It stinks, huh? It smells like manure. Oh my goodness. But the sheep, did you see the sheep? No, where? They're super cute. Look, right here. Oh, Come over here. Let me show you. Look at the babies. Oh my god, and they even have a Sheraton Hotel. Oh, they do, huh? Sheraton Chicken Hotel. 
they have their own houses. I cannot believe that. Oh my God, look at that one. She's the, like the richest. The rich house, huh? Yeah, that's a rich house. Look, look at these goats, guys. Look at the baby. <laughs> they're staying at the Sheraton. Yeah, they're... That's pretty funny, the Sheraton Chicken Hotel. <laughs> oh, look. He's going inside the hotel. There's no bed inside though. That's a rough stay. Oh wow, yeah, they're fighting, look. He's like, get away from my food. That's exactly how I feel when you come after my chicken sandwiches. That same way. walking around the farm a little bit and it turns out that they actually have a petting farm area and check this out guys you can walk around with a bunch of sheep and goat and just touch them on look how cute they are hello <laughs> oh this guy wants to sneak out huh are you supposed to come out of there are you you're a cute little guy oh they're so sweet now you can actually purchase some feed at the front too but the line was quite long and it's only three dollars per cup super cool activity especially if you're coming here as a family or with kids I mean, look at these little guys. They put a smile on your face. Oh, he just nibbled me. He bit me a little bit. You're a little feisty little guy, huh? Yeah, you are. Look at this guy. He wants some love too. Come here. No? He doesn't want any. What's up, buddy? <laughs> Super cute animals. How you feel being inside here, Gladys? Oh, amazing. They're so cute. They are, huh? Even Andrew's enjoying it. Look. <laughs> oh, man. No, it's good fun. It's good fun. And look at all the different families and kids. What's up, little guy? How are you? How are you? <laughs> I love them. Which ones are your favorite so far? The sheep or the goats? Both. Both. You don't discriminate, huh? I think I like the, I like the goats more. <laughs> definitely, definitely a goat kind of guy. I mean, look at this. What's up, buddy? How are you? You got a beard just like me. What's up, buddy? Come here. No? Oh, if they back up? I back up too. There's no way I'm gonna stick my hand into one of them that backs up. All right, we're gonna spend a little bit of time here and then we'll go out and play some, play some fair games. All right, guys, so I just picked myself up a margarita because it's time for some pig racing. This is the most American shit you could possibly do in your life. Come to a county fair, get a margarita, and watch some pig racing. Pig racing, I don't think you can find anywhere else in the world, but you can find it here in the good old US of A. So, margarita, $17. Cheers, bro. Cheers, bro. How do you get a rim like that, and I got one like this? You gotta be cute. You gotta be cute. Fair enough. Guess I gotta step my game up. All right, cheers, bro. Let's watch some pigs race. Okay, so there's four gates. I got my I got my money on gate number three. Who are you voting for? Ah, uh, number one. Number one. Let's see who wins. All right. Welcome to the Los Angeles all the way from Winsboro, Texas. Ring the bell, hit the ducks. <laughs> <laughs> no way. They were ducks. I thought they were going to be pigs. So this isn't pig racing. This is pig and duck racing. Were, were you expecting that? This is just animal racing. No, I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that pig. Oh man, this is so much fun, yo. Yo, this is so funny, guys. I thought this was just gonna be pig racing, but we've seen pigs, uh, ducks, more pigs, and now there's goats. <laughs> Crazy. Ah, 
these days. <laughs> ah, she loves so I didn't bad. Use the number. Yeah, you did. You I said didn't... number two. No. <laughs> no. You stopped and chilled. No. Oh, you lost so bad. I didn't. I didn't use the number this time for the goats. Don't be a liar. Grab those guns. Okay. That's right guys, fire it in, fire it up, watch your race, watch your chase! Ah, uh, we got number one, five, seven, ah, uh, number twelve, go, go, up, 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 winner, number one! guys well i think this is where i'm gonna end today's video we've had an amazing time here at the fair what was your favorite part of today gladys i like well the the rides the rides and, right and the farm the farm was that very was nice also and the watches right now the what about the pig racing oh my god the animal <laughs> racing that was hilarious that was good huh first very time in your life ever seeing that right yes yes no, that definitely. Was so funny, especially when the chief um, stopped in the middle of the race. Yeah, that was fun. No, definitely. I think the LA County Fair is a must if you're in the area and the fair is going on, or let alone any fair. You should visit any fair in any state. It's always a once in a lifetime experience, and it's something that you need to experience when in the US. Now, right now, we just got done watching or walking through this car exhibit. We saw some super cool Vochos, we saw some Bel Airs, an old school uh, vintage Bentley. So many incredible cars and today has just been amazing and seeing Gladys' reactions was priceless. <laughs> that Krispy Kreme cheeseburger though, that I would never forget about that. Part. That was terrible, it was absolutely terrible. And well just to give you guys a little recap, we spent roughly 250 US dollars on the activities today and we went easy, you could easily go a lot harder. The rides, they take up all your money. Definitely get the wristband. We should have got that from the beginning. Um, but besides uh, that, playing the arcade games. It depends. I don't think so because I only went twice. Yeah, but if ride. we had a wristband, we would have been on every ride. Okay. <laughs> Absolutely. So definitely consider getting a wristband. Um, do know that the fair can't be done on a budget. This is an expensive place. It's. It's expensive. It's yeah, cheaper to go to Knott's Berry Farm, to be honest. Your budget for this one should be like $200 beside of the entrance and the parking. Exactly, because the parking was also $22. So keep that in mind, guys. But overall, a great experience. LA County Fair, amazing place. We're going to hang out um, for a few more hours here, but I'm done filming. I like to put the camera down and just enjoy the rest of my evening without filming. Because you guys just watch the videos and they're super fun to watch, but they take a lot of work and a lot of effort and it gets tiring and I haven't seen Gladys in a while so I'm putting the camera down okay thanks I, a lot for watching guys I still want to go and win my Hello Kitty do you? alright well I think we gotta go load up some more tickets maybe another $50 or so it's gonna be an expensive Hello Kitty but we're not leaving until we get one alright guys thanks a lot for watching as bye always bye. I'll see you guys on the next one from here somewhere in Southern California later guys you are always smarter.